Hello and welcome to lesson 22 of Mixtures 101 course. In this course, we are going to take a look at the quiz component that Mixtures has to offer. So this is a part of the three video interactive component series that Web Stories has to offer. So basically you can have three type of interactive components as of now in the Web Story. So the first one is a simple yes no poll which we have seen in our last lesson. The second one is the quiz and the third one is the poll. The difference between quiz and the poll is very simple as the name suggests. Quiz basically allows you to run a kind of quiz among your users. In this particular web story, we are going to run a quiz about a New York City. So quiz will basically have a set of questions and each question will have one correct answer. Whereas poll is basically just like a survey that you will be taking among your users so it's it's that simple like uh, people won't have a correct answer but whenever they will vote uh, all they will see is the percentage of uh, how the people who have voted for each option so now let's move towards quiz uh, now when you will be creating a quiz you will have two options one will be with a result screen and the other one will be without a result screen so the result screen uh, quiz is basically a quiz where you can give the score to your users and the final output will basically be dependent on uh, the number of correct question your user answers. So let's go here. And now, whenever you want to create a quiz, you will first go into the add-ons tab in the left panel and then you will go and click on quiz. Now, the moment you enter this particular quiz section, you will see something called as saved quiz templates. So what is a saved quiz template? So let's say I am creating this quiz on New York City uh, in a red design. Now all I want to do is I want to create another story but with a different design but with the same set of questions. So let's say we have already created another uh, story with the test New York City uh, quiz set. So all you have to do is you have to click on add. Now the moment you do this, you will see that the uh, quiz is applied. Okay. But over here, our first question is on the first slide. So what I will do is I will add a new slide. I will cut this component and I will paste it in the new slide. So it's that simple. So you, this is the easiest way to create your quiz and then keep on reusing on different web stories but the first point that comes up is how you will create a quiz so it's pretty simple like if you do it on your own there is a lot of coding involved you'll have to code each and every uh, screen you will have to connect it to your uh, results database and then you will have to, you know, like take care of lots and lots of different things. But at, we at Make Stories have made it pretty simple. We have a quiz creating wizard. So to enable that wizard, you will have to click on create new. And when you click here, you will see two options. One is quiz with result screen and the another one is quiz without a result screen. In this lesson, we are going to take a look at how you will create with a quiz with a result screen. So this will be selected by default. So all you have to do is you'll have to click the continue button. Now, when you do that, you will see something uh, like a step form. And here you will have the first question, which says name your set. So this is basically the name of the quiz set, which you will be reusing again and again. So here I will name it as uh, New York quiz. And then just to make it a little more unique, I will add today's date let's do 25 the next option is the number of results so what is this basically the web stories from google allows you to um, define the end result so let's say you want to give three different kind of uh, badges to your users like say beginner Mm, expert and then advanced or something like that uh, so the anyone who receives a result of 0 to 40 will receive a beginner tag 
and then from 41 to 80 will receive advanced and then 80 and above will get an expert badge so in that case you will create three select three different number of results uh, and then you will configure the results in the later screen but this uh, screen basically gives you a preview of what your result screen is going to look like so let's say we want to have a dark theme for our quiz and then the ascent color is nothing but the color that your ring component will have the next option that you have here is score plus image score image and none so what is this so if you see the result screen preview it shows score then it shows this image so if you select only score this beginner now uh, this image will go away and your ascent color which was in the ring will come up over here so now if you change this again it will change in the preview now if i change this to score plus image this color will be applied to your ring component okay uh, the next option is the flat and transparent i will suggest you to go with the flat option because uh, that is something uh, that you will like to use because it has color at the background and then uh, transparent makes more sense if you are using the light version because in that case you can have the text but it's always better to go with the flat option so now that we have configured the design we will move on to the next step where we will configure the results since we have selected uh, three options here you can see that we have three different result screens to configure right now if you will select four then you will have four different results to configure I will at this point of time select only three options and I will continue here you can see that it's asking us for uh, various inputs so what is this now here it says URN so this is basically the text that will correspond over here so you can just change that you cannot it's it's totally fine if you do not want to have this uh, yeah, is let's say we'll say binding and so anyone with a score of 90 or less will get this tag so let's put this as 30 and this is a sample text you can change this and you can write you are still new you go on and then here you can change the image so i'll just click this and i'll do that okay or else uh, it will the pop-up will come up since i'm recording this using a uh, screen recorder we are facing some issues with this so i will just pull up an unsplash image let's say of an empire state building let's pull this one Let's get a little full. Okay. Let's have a small one. I'll pull this and we'll put it over here. Oops. So we have it over here. And the same way you can configure result two. So since you have changed it over here, it will automatically reflect in this. Yes. I'll just type randomly anything. And then, uh, so anyone with, we will change this to 70. And then here we go.
and then in the result screen three we can change and then here i will do 100 so anyone with the score will get So with this, uh, we have configured the result screens. So now the next thing that we'll have to do is we'll have to create a questions for this particular. So here it's pretty simple. I have created a set of questions. So I will start putting them up one by one. You can add up to four options and then you can select the one which is correct and here these are the emoticons these were the ones that we saw in our last chapter so this is again same nothing changes over here i will not uh, select this for each and every one so i am going to quickly uh, put in the details for all of these and then i will come back okay guys so i have now created seven questions here i really did not want you to you know like wait till i fill up all of these so now all my questions are ready so now all i'm going to do is i'm going to add them to a story all right so as i did tell you that when you will do this the the quiz things will be added to your uh, first screen so for the first quiz question to be moved to the second one you'll have to click add page after i will remove this and then i will cut this and i will paste it over here all right so now We'll just copy this and take this quiz to test your new lock city. And to design, I'll turn off the background and I'll change the color to white. So now here you can see that you really did not have to, uh, you know, like write each and every question all you did is you just did fill out all of them at once and then they did show up over here and this is your final screen i'll just go back to my first screen and i'll see Again, um, you can like if you feel that you have selected the wrong question while uh, using the wizard, you can change the right question straight away from your editor. Now, uh, if if suppose you feel that you have you know like at certain point put in a wrong information, then you can just click the component and then click on edit quiz. Set. Now remember you can edit your quiz set only before the voting has started now suppose you have already run the quiz and few people have voted for this particular quiz or played it then you won't be able to change it now let's come to the appearance so you can go in and you can change the appearance of each and every slide to do that you will click this and here you will see an appearance tab now over here you will see a lot of options you will have the light and the dark theme or uh, you can change the background color then you can change the prompt size again like these are the same options that we had in the 
uh, yes or no quiz again you can change the alignment then the prompt color will change the text color at the top and then the options color will basically change this thing and then you have an option that says flat style or shadow now you can look now yeah when you give this to the light theme you can see the difference between the shadow style and the flat style i love flat more than shadow and then okay so here we'll have to change this to black again now i will save this and, and you can actually beautify this more by you know like adding some background like say if this question is about the about the aquarium i will you know, like search for an aquarium and i will just put this into my background or else i can use this image and I can actually go in and I can apply some filters and also I will animate this like I will do it as a, like a zoom animation for eight seconds I know this lesson is pretty huge but we'll have to stick to this now I will do is I'll hit preview and I will play this quiz so let's start this so the I know the answers for everything. So I have actually set the uh, emoticons only for the first quiz question. For the subsequent, I haven't. And now, now when you hit a wrong question, it will say that it's wrong, and it will have a different UI, and it will also show how many percentage of people have answered each and every question. So now I've almost answered everything. So you see that my score is 86. So it did tell me that your love for New York is showing up. So all of this without writing a single line of code, it's all done. Again, for quiz, uh, you won't be able to play it again and again. So what I will do now is I will actually preview this thing. In a incognito mode. It's still rendering. I'll refresh this. Cool. So you did see that I answered to this question, like I answered this in my editor. And in the incognito mode, I'm um, answering Harlem. So it did tell me that 50% have answered for Harlem and 50% have answered for Grand Central Street. Again, so, so make sure this is going to take care of all these results. So you don't have to. I will answer, like I will wrongly answer a few of these. So now you can see that my score is 43. So it did tell me that your love for New York is budding. You are still new here, go out often. So this way you can go in and you can create your stories without writing a single line of code. So that's it about the quiz. Now, what I will do is I will refresh this. And now when I will go and I will check quiz, you can see that the new one that we did create just now started appearing in my saved quiz templates for me to keep on using them again and again. So that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we will take a look at the polls. Uh, now for the quiz without result screens, I won't go much into it because I feel that creating a quiz with the result screen is the way to go. So go ahead and start creating your first quiz. I'm excited to see what you're going to make. Thank you.